and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, this is a video on how to lose 10 pounds permanently in five weeks. These are five must-do steps. And this is a based upon a real life person. Right, right. And it's good. It, it's information that's going to help you out and uh, achieve your goals. Yeah, pick from it what you can and uh, use it in your life. Um, by the way, if you're new to our channel, oh, yeah. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always giving something away. Right now, we're giving away the Stretch Easy. This is a strap that can be used for stretching the lower extremity. Really great for hamstrings and also the heel cord and also for plantar fasciitis, yes, I, yep. have to, I have to say. All right, if you want a short version of us, go to Instagram or Twitter. We got a 60-second version of our program where we don't ramble on like we do here. There you go, Bob. All right, Brad, take Bob, it Bob, it's January 2nd. Everyone's thinking about new goals for the year. Right. And so common, including myself, little weight loss may be appropriate and a, a good goal. Well, it probably didn't help that I gained six or seven pounds over Christmas. I mean, my gosh, what the heck was I eating? Yeah, it's fun though, isn't well, it? That was fun. Yeah, now All I right. got to work to get it All off. Right. Yeah, so now we've got to get back on track. Uh, and so if you have that in mind and you follow these steps we're going to go through, you're going to reach your goal. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go through what I the steps I'm going to go through. I'm going to talk about some things that I've experienced and uh, I think this is true for a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, I'll jump into. Okay, so number things. one. Number one, uh, you need to have a true desire, and, and we say you have to have a true desire to do it right. In other words, don't just go through and, and diet like crazy, exercise like crazy, lose some weight, and uh, no, this is a lifestyle change, yeah. wouldn't you say, Brad? Right. In other words, you're not if you gain it back in, in six months. Right. It's kind of for not. It's, right. it's not doing anything good for you. Uh, so yeah, change your life, uh, and I've got an example your of habits. how that's helped. Yes, exactly. Um, and with that, visualize yourself. See yourself thin. See yourself the way you want to be. And you don't have to. I, I don't visualize myself with a six pack. You know, I don't get healthy because I have a six pack. Sure. I just want to be lose some weight so that I'm healthier and I feel good about myself. Uh, and it's as simple yeah, as that. Yeah, that's what I. I don't really visualize, Brad. What I do is I. I feel. When I feel better, I'm like, I think back to that point where uh, how good you feel. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And how bad you can feel when you are, you know. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you stuff things yourself. Things aren't going well. Right. And then, of course, hang out with positive people. Yeah. Now, this all fits under number one yet, so it's it's a little broad. Uh, but, you know, when you're with a support group, people that help you That's out. That's why it's hard to do this unless your spouse is on board. Right. Or, or close family members right. on board or yep. somebody's on board. Whoever you yeah. live with. It really helps if they're yeah. <laughs> with you. Uh, number two is write down your goal on a piece of paper. Uh, when you write it down by hand, uh, it does something. It has it, that effect on yeah, you. It, it, yeah, it, it lets your mind and everything kind of simulates together. It's, it's you, telling yourself that this is a permanent thing. Right. I, I'm, I'm going to have to take it on. And, and especially if you have it in an area where you can see every day. Right. You know, put the little sticky on your... Yep refrigerator yep. or whatever. Now, you know, some people uh, may do some girth measurements around their waist and then their weight uh, and bo fat, body fat percentage. Uh, and that's all good stuff too. However you want to do it. Yeah. Um, whatever I'm, motivates you. Right. I, I, I'm taking weight myself and I do have a body fat percentage uh, with the, the clamp ones. Okay. Gotcha. The, the pinch. Sure. Uh, which aren't real accurate, but it's consistent enough and it's, it fits my goals. Um, and now number three uh, define your diet and then you need to stick to it. And diets are, I don't, I'm not going to promote a yeah, certain there's diet. There's a whole lot of diets out there and a lot of them work. Yep. And a lot of them, um, don't work in the sense they may work for a short period of time, but they don't keep the right. weight off. Right. So. And, and you may not know, I mean, there's the count the calorie diet, you know, every right. day you're counting calories. There's the keto diet. There's a low right. carb diet. There's a lot of different, and there's different variations. Mediterranean diet. Right. Yeah. Don't just pick, if you don't know what to do, 
Pick one, and you're going to lose weight. And as you stick with it, it's going to you're going to find out what fits for you. Right, because you you have, you know, and that's what it is. Because I think all of our body types are different, obviously, and some are more conducive to certain types of diets than others. Right, and 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 also your personality type. Sure, you, you know, right. I couldn't count calories if you. Put no, a, that, put a gun to my head. I just, <laughs> I'm not that kind of yeah, person. That, that doesn't work no, for me either. No. Um, so what I found over the last few years is uh, basically get a good balanced diet. I, I guess it's the low carb thing. I've noticed when I cut bread way down, that's been very helpful. Ice cream, you know, duh. duh right, <laughs> right. Simple ones. Right, exactly. But now our number three here is don't be a quitter. Right. Okay, so this is what makes it a little bit fun. I'm not going to quit eating ice cream, I'm not going to quit eating bread, and I'm not going to quit drinking beer. But <laughs> I'm going to Cut really it modify it. So sure. um, on my one day, it's a cheater day, is it's, it doesn't start on Sunday at midnight. It starts Saturday afternoon until Sunday afternoon. It's a 24-hour period. 24-hour <laughs> period. I'm just going to let things go it within really, reason. It really is important to have yeah. that cheater day. Right. Um, one, you won't stick with it if you don't. Right. And two, it kind of, I guess it does physiologically some things to even help reset your sure. your your food stat kind of there. So, right, right. So, so, so it, you know, you, and that, it's not like I'm going to drink a 12 pack of beer and go, ah, you right. know, or, or eat a gallon of ice cream. You're going to have some of that with good moderation and get back on the, the stricter diet Monday. So what percentage less bread are you eating? I mean, Well, I've been on this for a while. I mean, I just don't even crave it very much anymore. Sure. But compared to when I used to eat bread, I, every breakfast I'd have bread and peanut butter or sure. something on there, I probably 80 to 90%. Less than, yeah. than you were. Right. Yeah. yeah. And like if I go to the restaurant yesterday, I went out on New Year's Day with my mother and wife and... They had the bun out there. It doesn't even. Yeah. I always liked eating the bun with butter on it, and I sure. don't even have that crave anymore. Yeah, the bread doesn't. I don't crave bread. I yeah. crave pizza, though. That's for sure. Oh yeah, that could yeah, be yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, good. I it's know, good. I know. A lot of salt. You're right. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, make less sure. Less sugars too. I mean, you're you're, oh, you're staying right. away from the right, and just not candy sugar, which is obvious. Right. Uh, it's things that you drink, like. Uh, sport drinks. Right. You think you should drink some good, healthy sport drink, and you look at what's in there, and sometimes the sport drinks have as much sugar as a can of soda. Now, worse. Yeah. So you got to really yeah. pay attention to the labels. Your labels, yeah. Take a look. I, I don't shop on the insides aisles at all. Right. I do a bit, very little. Everything's it's, it's on the outside. Yeah. On the outside I like the meat. I'm not going to cut down on meat. I don't worry about fat in meat. Uh, there's a lot of, there's some controversy in that. My wife, she picks all the fat out. Sure. I enjoy it. <laughs> and it go. does it seems to work fine for me. So yeah. I, I was losing weight. Uh exercise. Obviously, we're therapists. Uh we feel exercise is a critical part of weight loss. However, diet is a more yeah. influential part. Yeah, it's you're gonna lose weight more by do what you do at the dinner table than what you do in the gym. Right. I mean, right. that's just if you can work out all day long and if you still are eating the same. You're not going to lose as much. Exactly. I mean, I mean it's going to help without doubt. But believe me, if you want to focus on one area, it's more on the diet. Right. Than so I'm going to show you uh, a good example of my personal situation here is if you look at this chart, I hope it makes sense to people. Uh, if you look across, this is January, March. A whole, How's the tw- this look, Mike? The 12 months of the okay. year. Okay. So in January, I'm always my heaviest. And then I slim down throughout the summer. I'm more active. And then in December, I go back up. So do you attribute this just to the holidays? Or what do you attribute this? Why your weight goes up? Both. Less activity and between Thanksgiving and and New Year or Christmas, New Year's. I take the, you know... I take the restraints off and have a little fun. You do. Yeah. Um, and here's a good example of it. Now, this is about four years ago. Uh, and this was pretty typical. I'd be around 200 pounds January 1st. Sure. On one, the highest it ever was was 203 pounds. And then I start losing weight. And typically by March, I'd be around 180 to 185 pounds. And I sure. start training for triathlons, which I still do. And I was in good shape physically, aerobically, but I was still in that 180 to 85 pounds. And I, ate ice cream when I wanted to, and I had bread and all the things we talked about, and then it would go back up. Now, like right now, I'm as heavy as I've been for quite a while, and I'm at 180 pounds this morning. 
Well, c- congratulations, though, because that used to be your low. Right, exactly. Right. So I've changed everything. Everything has shifted down. So now last summer I was down to 170 at one point. My goal is to get there in five weeks. The reason I picked this is because uh, my wife and I and daughter and her boyfriend are going wow, to vacation. Grand Cayman Island, and we're going to do some swimming, some snorkeling, scuba diving. I thought, yeah, you know, I want to look good there. Yeah. I don't want my wife walking around with a tub of lard, you know, out on oh, the beach. I don't get any pictures of you either, like a tub of lard. I mean, that's, <laughs> you better look like Charles Atlas so that's, for the old people out there. That's two pounds per week. That, that's that's right. probably a maximum for anybody. Although, the, if you're starting a weight loss pro- program and you're pretty heavy on, the, you know. It might come off faster. The right. first five to ten pounds comes off pretty good. Right. Um, my total goal is ten pounds. So, my first. Five pounds is going to come off a lot easier than my last five pounds, sure. for sure. So we'll see how it goes on uh, February 8th. Sure. Uh, so when we put this up, it's going to be, I've already started. This will go up the second week of, yeah. I don't know what day this is going up. It'll be in the second week of January. Yeah. yeah. So the 7th yeah. of January. So this is a nice way to graph it. You can see yourself going, to, if that's a, your visual person, you know, right. you can uh, put a graph out on a piece of paper. I think, you know, for one thing, I do weigh myself every day. Yep. And it's like when it and it starts going out of control, I see it right away yep. as opposed to, you know, a week goes by and right. you're like you're already 10 yeah. pounds off. So. It, and I, I, I can't do that. It drives me crazy to look at it because some days I'm just a little heavier because who knows why. Yeah, it's who like, knows why? Why am right. I heavier? Right. So that kind of irritates me. So I, like once a week, I like to go maybe twice. With this, I'll probably go twice a week, but that, that's sure. about it. And that's up to you. And again, that's an individual thing. Yep, yeah, right. Exactly. We so, can let it down, Bob. All right. All right. So, uh, your exercise five to six days a week, I really think you should do your own exercise routine. Some people, walking is perfectly adequate. Right. Uh, yoga, whatever you do, I have a number of things I like to do. I like to do resistance training. I like to swim. I like to bike. I like to run. Um, and I mix it all up. And what I do is I have a chart. I think this can be really important, particularly when you're starting. If you Can you focus on this a little bit, Mike? There you go. Here's my chart one day, and I just put an X. Yesterday, I did my banding. Today, I did some swimming. So I don't fill it all in. Every day, I just want to have something. I always take, well, not always. I usually take Sundays off. If you want to take two days off, I think that's that's acceptable. Let me just say real quick, Brad, uh, the, the book Younger Next Year, very popular book. Oh, sure. Um, it, they... They talk, spend a, at length talking about why you need to exercise as much as you do. Like that you do need to do six days a week because sure. it, it just, they, they do a lot better job explaining right. than I would right now. But it, it just really is important. If you think that's out of reach, it really is not if you want right. to live younger. But it, if you're not an exercise person, I wouldn't read it because it's pretty aggressive. Right. I'm an aggressive exercise and it's like, wow, they talk about stuff like, I'm doing which very few people like right, to do. Right. So I, I yeah, I, it's but it does. They're doing, trying to convert more people to right. be like you, Brad. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and the next thing, this is probably for me one of the most important things for the diet aspect, and it might be this way for exercise people, or if you don't exercise, how to motivate yourself to exercise is get a book and read a book on like like this one. I didn't know what book to use. So I, I just picked this one by Mark Hyman. He's a doctor. And uh, it's What the Heck Should You Eat? Or Should yeah, I Eat? There's it? a lot of good books out there. Right. And, and uh, I think you, you just want to get a good general diet book. And, right. and um, the more you know, the, the easier it's going to be to, right. to, to diet. When they go through and talk about how things metabolize in your body and it converses and it turns into fat. And you've for me, I visualize it's like, oh, now I'm not even hungry for that ice cream right now. I have sure. to read this. Um, so I think, and if you're not an exerciser, read some books on exercise and you get to, they give you some uh, analogies and a lot of different scientific information that really backs up how how it's going to make you feel better, make your body into that mean machine you want it to be or whatever. You can look up information online too sure. and, and, and oh, of yeah. course videos. Yeah, so, yeah, look so, at our videos. So, so very good. Good luck with losing 10 pounds. I'm going to keep watching our videos because I'm going to uh, give my updates and on February 8th, uh, see All if right. I reach the goal. You're under pressure. Bro. I have to do it yeah, now. No, this yeah, is yeah. big. I mean, yeah. I have to. I know, Brad, you will. <laughs> good luck.